And there's your shore troopers. Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Strong. In today's video, it's all about toy hunting. So let's do this. <laughs> here at GameStop and they have Eternal Funko Pop which is pretty cool GameStop exclusive that's pretty neat looking we have an Avatar Star Wars gaming crates uh, Oregon Ducks um, this one's really cool I think I'm gonna pick this up it's a t-shirt and Fruity Pebbles GameStop exclusive pretty cool and I saw this and I thought this was awesome. So we have Salt Park with the principal. You know how sweet that is. Yeah. This Boo Hollow, I don't know what these are. Kind of like Funko Pops, but those are pretty cool too. They have like a whole line of them. Those are pretty cool. I like the bottom right, guys. Look at them. This Pretty cool. Pretty cool, cool, cool. Sly Cooper. I'm not gonna. We have a Ghostbusters podcast and Mr. Cooperson. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Over here at Target, they have. What if t-shirts, extra large. See this pretty cool Demi Gordon hair. And look at this pretty cool slash. That one looks pretty cool. Another one right here. Then we have some turtles in the back. We have a Batman there. Batcave. Minor. Demo God. It's pretty cool. And some Godzilla ones down here. Those are pretty cool. It's pretty neat. All different Godzillas here. 2004 Godzilla. But check this out. Jurassic Park vehicle. Funko Pop. And... Jack Skeleton in Engine. We have some Black Light Dustin. C5 here. And we have a couple of Demi Gorgon. Cad Bane. Pretty cool. Some Toonie Terrace up here. And the new Flash Gordon, which is pretty cool. And look at Ming back there. He looks like he's naked, doesn't he? <laughs> Those are $32. That's insane. But finally, they have a Roy in the store. So if you missed out on Roy, he's starting to hit targets again, which is pretty cool. I like this Coraline over here, too. Yeah, some restock. Dream Warriors is, like, my favorite... Pretty neat. Yeah. Look at this Justice League over here, amigo. What? What's a reptile? What's that from, Hannah? Hammer films? Look at that thing. Let me get her out of here. What? I don't think I know this movie. A reptile. Freaky. Oop. But pretty cool. Indeed. And look at this avatar up here. 20 bucks. That's a good looking airbender. And the reaction it. Pretty cool. Stranger Things. 
Yeah, pretty cool. We're here at Target and they have some new He-Man figures. We have Jitsu and Stratos. And then they have Cad Bane, a bunch of Cad Bane, Funko Pops, the Fall Convention exclusives. It's kind of cool. Cad Bane's a great character. Yeah. So over here at Walmart, they pretty much have like the same old, same old. Most of the stuff is get your TVs, G.I. Joe. They do have a little restock of the What If Wave, Zombie Cap, uh, Sylvie, Spider Man Far From Home. But um, I walk over here at Star Wars and they do have the carbonized figures. So we have the uh, Incinerator Trooper, the Armor, and Oops, Mark Gideon. And if I did scan these, and these are ringing up on clearance for seven dollars and something cents, so that's not too bad. These are uh, little child figures. Then you have small mission plate here. These Power Ranger figures are pretty cool here. And I uh, look over here, the wrestling, and I did do see a. Uh, Ric Flair and a Stone Cold, which I'm kind of surprised to see. Those are a little bit older, aren't they? And then, still can't find that Piper. He's, I wonder why, how come he didn't come in that wave? Anyways, yeah. So, these are kind of cool. Little fighting figures. Little battle arena. Yeah. So, woohoo! Again, over here at Walmart, and so here we have the Funko ornaments. These are pretty cool. I like the Skeletor; it's pretty decent. But what's kind of cool is I look over here and I see some minis from the office. Pretty cool. And check out this Dwight. It's a do-it-yourself. And they're all Dwight. So you can paint them up. That's kind of cool. Different. So, and then we have, look at that. Inflatable. Look at the replica lamp party game some other stuff over here some stuffed nightmare before Christmas but over here they have a bunch of the gremlins NECA figures over here in the holiday section I see like six of them I like this set, but I don't like it for $54. Definitely not as cool as American Wild for London. But, yeah. So finally I get to see the wave with Aura Singh and what? A krill? Just kidding. Yeah, and then they have the Zero figure, which is awesome. I don't really collect Black Series too much. Unless they have like the retro packaging. But we do have an IG-11 up here. I'm looking for the new wave. They have the, um, the new wave with Bib Fatuna. I know uh, G Force found them, but I will be looking for them. Other side, these are really cool. League of Legends. Look at that figure. 
That is so cool. Then we have her Jinx. The rest are Darius. And I think it's just Zed up here. Yeah, pretty cool. Fortnite. Over here in Walmart and over at the collectible section in the clearance section, I look over here and I don't think they're on clearance, but they have a whole bunch of American Will from London um, soldiers. So I see three, six, seven, eight, and then nine is the one I'm picking up. So I'm grabbing this one and I'm going to return the one I picked up the other day because the box was really damaged but I didn't think I'd find it so out of desperate I picked up the damaged box but I am going to swap it with this good box yeah I know a lot of people are looking for this but they're hitting the stores now keep your eye out then on the other side where the Funko Pops are um, they have some of the new Star Wars, Mandalorian, and they have the Bo-Katan, bunch over here. I did pick up the chase the other day of uh, Bo-Katan, and same old ones over here. They do have a stripe from uh, back best action, but. I do see a chase over here from Mandy. The box is damaged though. Pretty smashed up. But yeah, pretty cool figure. I won't be picking that up because I don't really, uh, I have no idea what even Mandy is. But cool looking figure. Yeah. So here we have, it is a week before Christmas. And Revelation figures, we have Teeler on the shelf, Beast Man, and Man at Arms. We have some of the new um, animated series one, the uh, Evil Lynn. And there's a He Man up here, the Skeletor. Bunch of wrestling figures, nothing too out of the ordinary. Wrestling and He-Man down here. A bunch of rocks, no pipers. Then we come over here to Star Wars and again, I believe these are on clearance for like seven something. We have IG-11 and a few Landos. But we do have a bunch of Shore Troopers and this is one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shore troopers. So that's probably one case of shore troopers. Um, pretty cool, but $18, I'm gonna pass. Don't really collect uh, troopers. And we have a lot of the same, but still a good amount of figures on the shelves. These are actually a pretty cool line to collect. I don't collect them, but I kind of wish I did. They do have a lot of cool villains, and then they have fun chases and things like that, so it makes it a little bit more interesting to collect. This is a fun line for the kids. 41 bucks, though. Ouch. We do have a what if down here. few more models, a bunch of three and three quarters, which is pretty awesome. And a lot of G.I. Joe of the, what is it? That is Stalker. A bunch of Stalkers. Coming over here to the center, but they have a little Star Wars Grogu uh, display here. $79 for that. And um, Child Monopoly. I do see a 
Moff Gideon in here, but I don't think he's 897. It says a uh, child bop it and right and whatever this is. I have no idea what that is. But yeah, pretty cool display. So here's a correction. I just scanned this and this came up as five dollars and twenty three cents. That's a pretty good deal for this little bugger. And these are ringing up as eight sixty three or eight sixty eight or something like that for these little guys. So I'll do a little bit more scanning and see if anything up comes up. Uh, I mean, look at this it says sixty bucks. We'll scan that and see what that says. So this one scans at fifty, I think fifty one dollars. If anyone's interested in that, over there it says seventy nine. Over here it says sixty. I don't know. Walmart, what are you doing? Over here at Walmart in the Funko Necker section. We do have the uh, Carrie in her gown with a twisted head. It looks like there. <laughs> head twisted around. That looks pretty uncomfortable. And pretty much the same old, same old here. A couple of pizza turtles. And um, they have the gargoyles now at Walmart. Look over here at the uh, Arcade One Ups. And look at, they have uh, two Simpsons here with Simpson bowling. That's pretty cool. I do believe this is $4.99. You see a price down there, it says $4.99. So, 500 bucks for bowling. And they still have a bunch of these masks, and it looks like they're on sale for 35 bucks. But yeah. Walk over here. And do have the leg ramp, leg ramp, party game. Bunch of NECA gremlins. Two pack went to gremlins. Yeah. Pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this week's toy hunt. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. And remember, it is snowing and we are Geek Strong. Take care, everyone. So real quick, I'll show you some modern stuff that they have here. So we have uh, some Funko here. Um, some of the typical stuff that you see. But what I see is a uh, Nosferatu here. I remember years ago, my son had to have this for his um, Christmas. And um, because it reminded him of an episode of SpongeBob, which is pretty cool. So he does have that in his collection. Like we have a leather face over here. You don't see that one that often. That's pretty darn awesome. I like that. Look at this monster paddle, Frankenstein. Hey, what is that? Is that a, a Lego? You know, it almost looks like it's from um, Christmas Vacation. Is that uh, Cousin Eddie? Is that his uh, Studebaker? Or what do you call that? What do you call that kind oh, of? You about what is that? I think that's the camper from the Walking Dead. Oh, the camper yes. from the Walking Dead. So, Oops. so Completely speaking of, oh, neat. Look at that. We have um, some Walking Dead pieces here. Those are pretty cool. Nice Walking Dead section. But this is what. Look at that clockwork orange poster and T-shirt. Shaun of the Dead. Look at this omen picture. That is so cool. Wait, 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 wait. Wow, look at that stuff. But let's come over here. We do have some uh, Star Wars down here, but check this out. So here we have the vintage Star Wars. So we have uh, Darth Vader complete with this cape. We have the 
the Wampa with Luke. As you can see the figures. But this piece right here is what I have my eye on. Look at that Han Solo. So I have a Han Solo, which is actually, um, I have the Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones, vintage 12 inch figure. So how awesome would that look right next to it? Let's see, here we have small vintage. The Moran Guard or Gamma Ran Guard, what do you call it? There's a Leia. I think I might have to show them how to do the hair buns on this one. I'm pretty good at doing hair buns. And look at the belt. I don't have the belt on mine. And do we have shoes? No, we have the socks, but no shoes. But that's still awesome. Check out the Luke. 12 inch Luke. And he does have his lightsaber. It does not have his grappling hook, but that it looks really nice. Interested in that too. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's in great shape. Look at that face scope. They did a great job back in, in the late 70s, early 80s. Boba Fett, ready for action. And there is the blaster again. Dang. This is what, two blasters I see in one day? I don't think this was here before. I think they, how many, how many, uh, Boba Fett's do you have? Is it just one or two? Just that one. I moved oh, it. Just so that was in the front window. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had two. No, that would be awesome. Yeah, it would. Okay, let's see here. Look at, we have an Amperu custom figure in card. Bones. How awesome is that? We have a Jawa over here with a regular Tusken Raider. We have another Tuscan Raider. Look at that holding 3PO. How cool is that scene? And those, I don't believe those are hollow tubes. But here's your Rancor. That's really cool. Going after uh, Luke. And look at that cool picture set up back there of our fa favorite uh, bounty hunters. And there's uh, the Rancor Keeper. Look at this scene here. This is actually really cool. This is, so if you guys need any ideas to uh, display your, uh, your Hasbro Java setup, look at that setup. That one's really cool. Put the band there. And that uh, Max Rebo looks really good. The blues are decent. And then we have our favorite Salacious Crumb, or as we call it in our community or our family salacious rum just need this headband and there's uncle owen right there that's cool with his charcoal bones that's a really cool custom figure